everyone. So um, today I was going to take you guys on a little journey in my front yard mostly and we are going to be checking out a couple different jades I have. Um, they're mostly just craftable ovata which is just a very basic jade that we have here in Southern California. They just grow like crazy. I have a couple, I have one huge one that I had um, taken cuttings back probably about 10 years ago and have them placed in the yard. So let's go ahead and check things out. Okay, so over here we have this wonderful jade plant that I had pruned way back over a year ago. He definitely is in need of pruning a little bit more, but I'm not going to do anything in the heat of summer. It's going to stress it out too much. Um, he doesn't actually look too stressed. He's actually looking really nice. His leaves are looking a little wrinkled. Um, which usually is a sign that he needs more water. However, with especially a jade this large, they have they store so much water in their trunk. You don't want to overwater them. Even though they look like they could use some more water, you really need to err on the side of caution. It's really easy to just rot your plants. And um, if you give them too much water, you'll have branches just falling right off, which we don't want. So I'm actually just gonna leave him alone and not do anything with him. But let's just look at how gorgeous he is. I'm really happy with how he uh, came out. I'm definitely going to be doing some more pruning and giving him more structure once the cooler temperatures come. But for now, I'm quite happy with him. Um, down in this little planter I have down here, we definitely are experiencing summer for sure. Um, you'll notice how all these little echeverias have, their coloration has definitely changed. They're usually more purple. They're getting a lot of sun. This crassula, actually this one, it's a curly crassula. Um, he's looking really nice. But other than that, everything is just pretty, it's pretty warm. And um, it's best to just leave things alone. I'm still only watering once a week, even though it is really hot because you really just don't want to overwater your succulents. Um, they prefer having more shade than they do necessarily having water. So then, the, so then in the front yard, I have these jades all along here. So one, two, three, four, five, and then way in the corner, six, that are actually all from cuttings from the tree in the back we just saw. But look how nice and, so it's in the evening now, I just got off work. But the color out here, these are getting a lot more sun and the color is just looking really, really pretty. They've really gotten a nice kind of vibrant red in some areas. This front area does get sun on a longer, for a longer time. And you know, you can see here, the leaves are a little wrinkled in areas, but overall, just really pretty. Um, the other thing that's looking kind of exciting is this is all these little agave tenu waters are looking really pretty with the sticks on fire. This little acatillo is looking really pretty. So these right here um, are really, so these are actually come down from my um, palm tree that I've been working on this weekend. All of these palm fronds and all of that stuff, I can't stand this palm tree, it drives me crazy. But what these are really useful for is lining, like if you wanna line it with basket, or I, ha I did one planting of like a really open basket and I lined it with, with all of these palm husks. And it's super helpful. It keeps all of your dirt in place, but it gives it good drainage. So that was really great. Lucy coming to say hello. No, do not dig. I need to put more plants. I really need to go getting some more rock for this whole area. Otherwise, she's gonna start digging. Ah, 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 ah. No, 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 no. Look at this J 
see. Looking really nice. Let's look at the front real quick. Here. Come on, come on. 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 Come